Well, the organization Fellowship of Christian Athletes desires to create an environment where today's young adults find opportunities to practice and foster those biblical character traits. Last week, one such opportunity came in the form of FCA Leadership Camp, and several individuals from this region took part. Andy has more. More than 55 high school, middle school, and college students gathered at Widewater Camp up in Liberty Center, including students from Lima Senior, Elida, Bath, Temple Christian Parkway, Ada, UNOH, and Macomb, as well as a homeschool student. As our area joined with folks from Wauseon, Toledo, and the Green Meadows Conference to learn what it means to lead for Christ, both on their teams and in their schools. Colby Webbs, one of the leaders at Lima Seniors FCA Huddle. I wanted to come to FCA camp just to be with other athletes from my area, and just be able to like connect with people and just, you know, meet other people that are athletes in my schools that also have a relationship with Jesus Christ so we can bond and grow together. My favorite part of camp is meeting new people. I've already met a lot of new friends and playing all the games. Leadership camp is supposed to encourage them, equip them, um, and empower them to go back to their schools to um, lead their peers to lead a huddle at their school for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Um, it's supposed to encourage them to be leaders on their team, to equip them to be leaders on their team. A lot of kids know what a leader is, but they don't know how to do it. Last year, Macomb Volleyball standout Jenna Huffman had to go all the way to Malone College in Canton for leadership camp since Northwest Ohio didn't get a camp till this summer. I had an awesome experience last time and actually I was really nervous about coming back. Um, just. I wanted to make sure that I was in the right place spiritually to be able to come back and lead a group and talk to Alexa about it and I just knew that this is where I wanted to be this week and it's so much fun and I love it. Who are we? One, two, three, Leadership camp offered plenty of competition time. There were team building activities along with great teaching sessions led by Bruce Pagusky out of Finley. We've been talking a lot about leadership and how sometimes it's okay to step back and let other people lead and that's a quality of a leader too, not a sign of weakness. Um, I learned a lot about how to um, communicate with other people and uh, with the kids in my group, you know, just a lot of their insights too. I really like the sessions, but we've been learning the workshop has been really good. I think what sticks out is how they relate it to our athleticism and in sports and there's several parallels to how we can take what we do on field and bring it to our homes, to our communities, to our schools, wherever we go. The theme is rise and until I just want them to know that um, now's the time. They don't wait till tomorrow, they don't wait till they're older, but now's the time to rise up, um, that you're not too young to do anything um, and just to always keep striving to get better, to not just be like, okay, I'm there, but to just keep going. I'm learning a lot that I can take back to my school, to my huddle, how to be a leader and how to like lead different things through my huddle. I'm really excited to go back to Lima Senior to be able to share the love of Christ with people and just like open them up to the new world. It's 49 hours that these 46 plus high school and middle school students won't soon forget. In Liberty Center, Andy Lynch for Faith and Friends.